Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. It's finally pick up day and it's now 5 p.m. and we just got the um, signal that we should go. We've been talking to the drivers and they're in London at the moment and they said there's a lot of traffic and that we should go. I think we're gonna meet in Slough which is better for them but also better for us because we get to pick up the puppy sooner and everyone's been asking about it so we're all very excited to finally go pick him up i've been waiting for this for so long now and i can't wait to actually hold him and give him a cuddle and i can't believe that i'm actually going to be going right now to pick him up um i'm gonna be grabbing a toy for him so yeah here is Lockie. So I think I'm gonna be getting the harness to keep him secure in the car. And obviously the water bowl. So let me put that together and then I'll show you what I'm gonna bring along with me. Right, so I'm gonna be bringing him his little cuddly toy. I'm gonna be bringing the harness. Obviously the leash, even though he already has one, he came with one and the water bowl obviously we're gonna have a bottle of water and this little chicken with lamb snacks for the road obviously we're not gonna be too long on the road because it's only like an hour and 15 minutes so we're gonna be heading off um, in a minute train station now and it's pissing it down with rain and we texted them they didn't answer yet they're probably just driving or something um, at least I hope so and now we're waiting here to hear a sign and for the puppy to come and then probably the next thing you will see is Ragnar
Okay, so little update is now the next day and last night we've been for a walk with him. We took him for a walk at like quite late. We fed him around 10 o'clock and we took him out at about 20 to 2 last night before bedtime. He did his business. He did two poos and one pee and I was fine. So then we brought him back in, we put him in the crate, we turned all the lights off and we stayed with him for a little bit. He cried and he tried to bite off the crate here for about 10 minutes after which he was fast asleep the whole entire night. Ryan, my husband, stayed with him downstairs so he doesn't feel alone. And he woke up around 8 o'clock or half 8, something like that. And he did a howl and that was it to just basically let us know that he woke up. So yeah. Here he is. We played around for a little bit. He's been out for a walk in the park. He had a little sleep. And now we're taking him in the car to a different park for a bigger walk. I mean, I, I would say the first night with him was pretty successful. He does not like his bed, however. He just doesn't go to sleep in it, probably because he's just not used to it. He plays um, with this toy most of the time. And he chewed on a bone, but apart from that, He's still exploring the house and he still is getting to know us and getting to know the smells around the house. He's more comfortable with us. So yeah, like I was saying, he does like to chew on that. So that's his day so far. He's eating really well. He's taking his vitamins, which I'm not sure I showed you, but yeah, let me show you what vitamins we're giving him. These, and because he's around 25 kilos, that means he's supposed to be having about five a day or something like that each day and then for three weeks and then a break yeah just put it over his neck he's very comfortable with his harness as well isn't he yeah Traveling all over, searching far and away for a sign to lead me straight. We walk together. 